Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about array. Array is a collection of elements of the same order. Looking at our definition, array represents an ordered collection of elements. And you can also have another arrays inside another array. What this one is talking about is if you have an element of the same or of same type, for example, numbers, you want to store them in the variable. We know in a programming language, a variable is a container that stores data and stores it into a memory location. So if your data is an integer, you only store one integer to a variable. And if it's a string, you store that string to the variable you have but when you have many elements of that same category let's say numbers 10 numbers you want to store them into a particular variable you cannot do using ordinary variable but you can define another variable called an array then you store everything into all the elements into that particular array for example these numbers one to five we store them into a not into a variable numbers but this variable number is an array so, but how do we identify each element? We identify each element based on the index, the position of that element in the array. The first one is in the position one, even though in array we start counting from position zero. So this is the first element, index zero, index one, index two, three, and index four. And also if that is for numbers, I mean, you can define array in this way by saying the variable, the array you have equals to the word array in bracket you put the element and you can also define it using a square bracket whereby all the elements you put them in a quote that if you have a string of data or you store the element in form of an associative method whereby you put the name of your the name the key and the value the key the value the key the value so when you are looking for the age of that particular student or that particular person you use the age key to identify what you are looking for then it will return the value so let's demonstrate this one in our let's demonstrate this one and see what will happen when we have our when we run our code so we we'll just go to our environment and declare the names array names to call it equals to array in bracket we put all the elements well, voila. and the last one let's just say patina we have an element an array with how many elements with only three elements the first element is in position zero position one and the last one in position two or using a mathematical formula you can say the maximum value the maximum index of an array is equals to n minus 1 whereby the n is the number of elements minus 1 will give you the last index of an, of an array this one we have how many elements 3 3 minus 1 equals to 2 so the maximum element the last index I mean not the maximum element the last index is going to be n minus 1 so how do we display the element to display the element you just use the name of the array then you give it the index number. For example, the first value, the first name, Omar, is in position one, zero. Then you just put the zero, you close your element, you close your line. If you want to pr print the second one, you put it, also the third one, you put it. But since we are going to display them like this, we need to concatenate it with a what? With a break, we break the line. We create a uh, line break so that each name will be printed on a separate line so when we go to our browser we refresh it's going to giving us okay then we have to look at the name of the variable the name of our variable is what the name of our array is names but i'm using name so that is that will throw an error so it has to carry the same name we go back we run again. This will print the first element in our array, the second one, and the third one. 
But another thing or function that we need to look at in array is how do you delete an element? To delete an element or a value in an array, you just put the word on set, you put your array name and the index. So now we are deleting the first element entry, which is Omar. If we decided to print the same entry again, it will throw an error saying that that particular value or index does not exist. You see, a warning key, the warning undefined array key zero does not exist on line what? Line seven. So if we go there to line seven, we will understand, we will see that already uh, index zero has been deleted. So what happened if we decided to give it another value? Let's say it's equals to Garba. Then we echo it again. But this one we are going to echo element zero. So now let's refresh. Before, the first element contains Omar as a name. But later, after deleting it, we add another element inside Garba which will allow us to display that particular element again, even though with a different value. So, remember, when you are putting the index to put it in a single call, it's not that if you didn't put the call, it will throw an error. No, it will just place a warning, even though you are not going to see the warning, but for best practice, it's better to put every uh, index you have in an array, you put it in a either single code or double code, but you have to maintain a particular pattern. If you are using double code, it's better to put double code so that at least the readability of your code will be clean. Another way also to define an array, you can define another array numbers this way like we have seen. Using square bracket, let's say one, two, three, four, five, like we have seen in in the. Sorry for this. Comma five, we close the square bracket. This one is supposed to be square bracket, not a div tab. So with this one, to display the first one, you just put echo numbers, you put the index. By doing this, it will allow us to print the first element, which is what? One. It's the same thing, the same scenario with the other one. You just put the index in a single or double code based on the format you are using. And also, you can print through an array. To print through an array, for example, you want to print this number one to number five. We use a for loop for each, which will allow us to loop through the array. But in the for the syntax for that for each, even though we are going to cover it in another in another video, you put for each, you put the name of your array as then you define another variable. As a variable that will represent each element. So we have array numbers, but we want to print as number. That for each element of these numbers, pick each element in that. So when you come to this area, you say echo. But in this regard, you just put the word number, the one you just define. This, when we put a line break in order to allow us to print the number the next available number in a new line so when you run it it will print from one two three four five remember we already outputted this one that's why we have the one almost twice if you look at it this one so we may decide to comment it out we save we run again so this will give us one two three four five up to the last element we have 
so you can use for each in order to print each number or each element of your array and if you decide to use the first one the first array will have names as numbers even though you can work like this but it's better to do it the the, the using the profit convention whereby each variable is supposed to reflect what it's what it is containing so if we go back we print again it's going to print the first one second one and the last one but why yeah the first one which is what bala then fatima then garba if you look at it we have bala then garba then bala then fatima udurim printing if you look at it it will print it like this garba like this so this is how to go through an array and how to manipulate array you can also count the number of array if we are to remove all this one for example all this one to count the number of array or number of element of element it's a cost to count will put the name of that particular array in bracket this will count the number of array that we have so in this area we just print the number we uncomment it number of the element we have this will allow us to have let's say we put in number of element in that array is let's go there and run again the number of elements in that array is what three so you see to know the number of elements in an array you just use the word count you put the name of that particular array in the bracket so i will just stop here we we'll use another video in order to demonstrate how to use increments or decrements uh to increment or decrement uh, a variable especially a number in a code